good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. Please excuse the screaming. That is Farrell being a drama queen because his horn's virtually fallen off completely. I'm going to have to trim the last bit off and then blue spray because it's bleeding. <sighs> Let me go do it. He's The screaming is him being a drama queen. He's absolutely fine. He's just being a drama queen. But all the sheep are here because it's just in awful weather. So Excuse me, sheepy bums. I really need to get it. Oh, you've tipped the food over. Can I get in, please? You can finish eating it off the floor. No. Oh, God, you're too strong. Shit! Right. It's on the floor. There you go, look. Eat it off the floor. There's loads on the floor. Just eat that. We'll sort the rest out in a bit. Right, well, that took me two seconds to do. But obviously it sounded like I was torturing him. If you've got an, a gooey belly, don't look at this. Go, stop trying to tip it over again. I'm going to show you basically how it was hanging on. That tiny bit of flesh there was holding it on. So... It's gone now, thankfully, and I've covered it with spray. The next thing I'm going to do is scrape all this old food, poo and uh, water off the end. Um, clear it up a bit. It's half eleven. Sheep are eating their hay. And I'm clearing up the mess. Pretty much done. I've emptied the bins, I've bleached the table, I've bleached all of this, cleaned everything. That's the thermos that I forgot I'd left up here, so I've given that a good clean. Uh, bleached all of this because when we had a few weeks back, there was a bit of a hot chocolate goat it incident and it spilt everywhere. Emma kind of quickly wiped it up, but we were in a rush and the goats were causing chaos, so it never got properly cleaned up. So there was a lot of sort of mould and stuff growing on things. Pulled all of these things out, wiped all of that out, sprayed it because there was also rat wee which I'm assuming is because they, you know, were licking up all the hot chocolate. So everything's had a bleach and a spray and a clean. I've put that bin on top of that bin so that the goats don't get in and eat the food. I've got two bags of rubbish here, which I'm going to take and drop off en route to Emma's. But I'm going to go and find the rat poison and fill up all the bait boxes. Where I'm not quite sure where the bait boxes are. Look at the state of me. <laughs> um, and in other news, my family are dropping like flies. I don't know if I said my mum and dad now have COVID. So it's Jackie, mum, dad, and now I've just been told Brendan's also got COVID. Um, I'm surprised that Kenzie's tests are coming back negative, but having said that, I'm not sure our tests are in date. So I've ordered new tests and we're gonna test ourselves. I'm meant to be working with Joseph on Friday, but we've decided to push that back a week because he's vulnerable. Um, I know COVID, you're just like, you know, you treat it like anything else these days, but 
I won't be going anywhere if I find out I am carrying it. Um, I do have a sore throat, which is how Brendan was yesterday, but I've got a sore throat because of this whole tooth issue. It's all down the same side. It's where I've had a sore throat the whole time. So I don't feel any different than I have been feeling with this tooth situation. Anyway, uh, let's go find the rat bait. Uh, I don't know what that is, but whatever that is, has got a load of mouse poo in it. And so whatever is all over this is covered in mouse poo. Look, there's mouse poo all over that. Where's that all come from? Right, okay. I'm not gonna tidy up in here today. I've already been up here two hours. So I'm just gonna find, where did I put the rat poison? I suspect I put it up somewhere high and safe. That sounds like a me thing. Did I leave it in here or did I have it in the other room? Right, I'm gonna find the rat poison. I will come and do this room another day uh, because yeah, I, I wanna go home and <laughs> see if my COVID tests are in date and whether or not I'm likely to infect anyone if I go anywhere near them. I had Nelly and Ziggy trying to drink from the hose pipe. You slurpy slurping. They like the fresh, fresh water. I've just scrubbed out the bucket and made it all nice and really fresh for them. <laughs> See things. The dogs are about to get a bit of a hose off as well, which they're not going to like. Autumn slurps. You boys are not going to like it, but I'm going to give you a bit of a wash before you leave, just under your belly. Nice? Is that good? Oh, yeah. Fresh water, my girly. Fresh, fresh. I'm all showered and feeling a lot more human again. Um, I ended up being up there about three hours in the end, just sort of cleaning up and hanging out with the sheep and sorting things out. Anyway, I'm now going to get on with my puzzle and I've been watching videos on YouTube about um, it's, it's I've gone through this before where I have these like morbid fashion fascinations in things um, and it's either age gap romances or the other one I go for watching is uh, love rats on holiday so yeah um, it's, it's just brain dead TV I guess, but brain dead viewing and that's what I'm, like, something I can listen to while I'm doing my puzzles. I am trying to show you the puzzle now I've finished it. Um, but there's a lot of glare from the light. But I think you get the idea. I've tilted it slightly and that piece is still missing. I said, didn't I, that I couldn't find anything that looked like it should fit. Frustratingly. And I've realised I haven't edited my video today and it's probably about that time when it should have gone up. So I should really be editing right now um, I think what I'll do is I'll leave that for a minute go and edit and then come back put this away and start another one I have a similar thing going on here with my lights and my candles, my little tea lights. This is my salt lamp that has fallen apart. I've got my lamp over there and a candle there. Continuing on the naughty food, Lee has cooked burgers and waffly chips. It's just gone eight o'clock in the evening and I'm going to start my new puzzle which was this one that I bought at the garden centre in the sale. I'm gonna do that one now. I don't have any COVID tests, but I couldn't really taste any dinner. And now I'm thinking about it, I can't really taste anything. There's slight hints of things occasionally. I guess we'll find out tomorrow when the tests arrive and I take one watch this space right you lovely lot it's half past nine this puzzle is actually quite complex there's a little village scene it's probably 
not easy for you to see on this it's probably not felt uh, oh there that's better that's showing it better lots of tiny little details like the boundaries here the buildings the edges of the buildings the stars these hedges so on different layers there's like hillside and then there's the stuff in the foreground here and then there's rabbits over here and holly and a siamese cat sort of up there his ear and then down here you've got another rabbit and then you've got a different type of wall and then i've got a whole array of reindeer across here and this one is quite challenging and i've just spent a lot of time meticulously placing these in sort of roughly the right place um the glare isn't very helpful is it sorry anyway it's half 11 i'm going to make a cup of tea lee has decided he's going to go to bed the weather out there is awful it's absolutely hammering it down and uh, i managed to persuade the dogs to go out to the toilet um i had to go out and stand under the big tree i'm quite glad the tree's got as big as it has out there actually because it provides a really good spot for standing and persuading the dogs they need a wee without getting absolutely drenched which was the case when we had our staffy 10 years ago that's how much the tree's grown um anyway I'm going to take my tea, I'm going to go and play some of my games online, brush my teeth um, and get ready for bed. So I will see you lovely lot in the morning.